Michael was just laid off because of COVID-19. Unfortunately, Dunder Mifflin didn't pivot into toilet paper when they should have and had to shut down the Scranton, Albany, Rochester, Syracuse, Utica, and Nashua branches. They laid off all the staff, including our good friend, Michael Gary Scott. It's important that Michael explain this new career gap on his resume as he moves forward in his job search. Luckily, now has never been easier for Michael or ourselves to explain a career gap. In this video, I'm going to show you how Michael can address this career gap on his resume, and you can use these same suggestions if you're finding yourself laid off as a result of COVID-19. First of all, in all scenarios, Michael needs to make sure that he's including a date range from the start of his layoff to present. In most scenarios, this is probably going to be March 2020 to present. So now let's look at some possible scenarios for how Michael might be spending his time during this career gap. Number one, Michael is 100% focused on job searching. A simple one-liner about exploring his career growth and explaining his layoff due to an organizational wide restructuring is really all that's needed and it might look like this. Exploring next stages in career following organizational wide restructuring as a result of COVID-19. That's it, short and sweet. Scenario number two, Michael is spending some time volunteering. Michael relaunched Scott's Tots and is offering free tutoring and career and university preparation training programs online to youth. Any time spent giving back should be mentioned on your resume and it might look like this. So again, we're addressing the layoff with a quick explanation. And then we mentioned that he had relaunched Scott's Tots and is now providing free tutoring, university and career preparation training programs to youth. Scenario number three, Michael is taking courses online. Michael knows that keeping his skills fresh is really imperative for his job search. So he's taking a variety of sales, business, and even improv classes online. What Michael wants to do on his resume is show recruiters and hiring managers how he's making great use of his time now that he's been laid off and that he's working hard to ensure that his skills stay current and relevant. So how this might look on his resume is like this. Again, we're keeping that one liner explaining Michael's layoff, and then we're adding another line that mentions the relevant courses that Michael is taking. These are just three really simple and straightforward suggestions for how you can address a career gap if you've recently found yourself laid off due to COVID-19. The key here is to be brief, but transparent when explaining how you're spending your time since your layoff.